Who's Greatest Showman? The Legend of Cecil B. DeMille. Starring in person, Mr. Yule Brenner, Mr. Charlton Heston, Mr. Bob Hope, Miss Betty Hutton, Mr. Edward G. Robinson, Miss Barbara Stanley, Mr. James Stewart, Miss Gloria Swanson, and Mr. Cornell Wilde. The first half of the latest Cecil B. DeMille epic is merely dull and badly acted. The second half gains in speed, silliness, and vulgarity. Mr. DeMille's newest movie is his usual combination of corn, spectacle, sex, and more corn. The picture we saw at the Paramount last night can be summed up in one sentence, another run-of-the-mill picture. Well, now these are just a few of the milder reviews written by newspaper critics during Mr. DeMille's career. The more the public flocked to see his films, the more he became a sort of a critic's tark. Now, you'd think that Cecil B. DeMille would have laughed all the way to the bank, but he didn't. He was human, and notices like these upset him. And then there was the motion picture industry itself, the industry he helped make so great. Now, it, it wouldn't take him any more seriously than the critics, and this upset him even more. You know, there isn't one of us, actor, writer, director, producer, who doesn't want the full respect of, of uh, the guys up there. Peter. On the picture that finally gave him the critical respect he was entitled to, and the applause of the motion picture industry. Hey, Buttons, what's keeping you? Coming, Holly. Coming. <laughs> come down here to talk or do you want me to come up there? Button, I'm quitting the show. Oh, sure, 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 sure. I really mean it. This time I'm just not letting off steam. There's no one on the trapeze any better than I am, and you know that. Well, I, most of the time I'm scared to look. Then why are they hiring the great Sebastian? What's so great about him? Brad promised me that center ring, and now he's giving it to him. Well, I'm not sticking around. Oh, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Now, Holly, how many people were in the audience yesterday? When the house wasn't too bad. Holly, we're going broke. That's the reason Brad hired Sebastian. We need a star attraction to keep going. Well, he's such a big star. Let him play the side ring. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Now, sit down. Oh, that, that, that wouldn't be too smart to pay him all that money, give him that big build-up, and then hide him. Well, if Brad would give me the same kind of build-up, I could be just as big an attraction. Oh, by that time, we'd all be starving to death. No, no, Holly. No, no. If being in the center ring is more important to you than keeping the circus going, then forget what I said. But it isn't fair. Well, yeah, it's uh, the funny thing about this world, Holly, is a lot of it isn't fair. We just have to do the best we can. All right, all right, you win. I'll stay. But I promise you one thing. Sebastian may be in that center ring, but that whole audience are going to be looking at me. Betty. Yes, sir. You're playing this scene for nothing but anger. Let's soften it a bit. There's a great friendship here. And, Jimmy, you're being a little too uh, critical. You're giving Holly good advice, but you still feel sorry for her. Now, let's try the last part again. A little bit softer. Where do you want to take it from? Well, let's take it from Jimmy's line... It's a funny thing about this world. Okay. All right. Ready? Action. Yeah, it's, it's a funny thing about this world, Ollie. A lot of it isn't fair. We just have to do the best we can. Buttons, 
What would I ever do without you? Well, what you do without me is you find somebody else to let off steam to. <laughs> okay, you win. And I'll stay. But I promise you one thing. Sebastian may have that center ring, but that whole audience are going to be looking at me. That's much better. Much more like it. Now, would you like to see the picture? <laughs> Coming as it does from my fellow craftsmen, the men of my own profession who know our work from the inside and from top to bottom, and who have thought me worthy to receive this award, the, the, the highest and one of the most coveted of Hollywood's honors, I thank you from my heart. The first Academy Awards were presented in 1927, and uh, Mr. DeMille received his awards in 1953, so it took Hollywood 26 years to learn what the public already knew. The greatest show was an all triumph. Mr. DeMille laughed at his illness. He called it minor. But those of us who worked for him knew better. You see, he was 71 years old and his doctors ordered him to retire. But of course he refused. He still had one more picture to make, and nothing was more important, not even his life. Mr. Bob Hope, Miss Betty Hutton, Mr. Edward G. Robinson, Miss Barbara Stanley, James Stewart, Miss Gloria Swanson, Mr. Cornell Wilde, and myself. These are the friends, co-workers, and admirers of Cecil B. DeMille saying goodnight to you from Hollywood.